Hi, welcome to Tales from the Road. I'm Dr. Jill Windy, and you're hanging out with us on RV Newsnet. We're going to teach you how to keep you and your four-legged co-pilot happy and safe this winter. Hey, and remember that uh, you are part of the program, or we'd like you to be part of the program. Uh, we want to hear from you. You can send us photos. You can send us you know, videos if you want to. But mostly we need feedback and questions and, uh, get to, and, and, and questions that you may have about pet health. And you can get in touch with us on Twitter, Facebook, or Flickr. You can also leave a voicemail message for Dr. Wendy uh, asking your question or leaving a comment at Toll-free number 877-578-7866. That's 877-578-RVNN. And don't forget, Dr. Wendy's extension is extension number 705. So please, let us hear from you and let us know what you want to know about when it comes to your pet um, when you're traveling. Uh, you know, about this time of year, really, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the traveling is kind of wrapping up, at least in the northern part of the United States. And uh, we're, uh, you know, maybe the winterizing RVs, essentially mm -hmm. putting them mm -hmm. to bed for the, for the winter. Um, what, what issues come up uh, at this time of year that, that have to do with, uh, with our pets? Well, probably the first one that comes to mind is going to be the, uh, the antifreeze. Um, there's about three different kinds that you might run into while you're doing all your winterizing needs. Um, the first one is going to be methanol, which is uh, going to be found in most of the uh, pink and blue bottles there. Those are the windshield wiper fluids, that type of thing. Uh, the second one is going to be ethylene glycol, and this is the most common thing that's going to be in most of the uh, automotive antifreezes. Mm -hmm. So for those of you with trailing campers and that kind of thing, you're still working on your automobiles, automobiles um, you'll want to watch out for that one. And, and this is the bad one. This is the bad boy. How <laughs> bad is it? How bad is it? Well, <laughs> let's consult the freakometer. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. This is pretty bad. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Pretty Very bad. bad. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah. So what? What? Uh, how? Like we say, how, how bad? bad is it? Yeah. Yeah. So we only need a couple of teaspoons to be lethal in some cases. So it's bad. Well, and one of the dangers of the uh, pro of the uh, uh, ethylene glycol, of course, is mm -hmm. that it uh, can taste sweet to some animals. Is that true? I, right, I, know, that yeah. I know that's true for cats. Mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. if that is different for for other animals if it has a little different flavor to them or not. But yeah, yeah it, okay. So, but they yeah. they like it, and is, is the problem. They like it, and so it doesn't take much. No, and it doesn't take much. And if you have it dripping, or if you're using it, and you leave mm -hmm. an open container, it's a good possibility that an animal could get to it. Right. So really watch Absolutely. out. Okay, what's number three? Number three is probably going to be the one that most of the RVers are going to be handling. This is going to be the propylene glycol antifreeze. Mm -hmm. Now, this one is safer. It is not safe. So, um, especially for little bods. So, as far as, you know, accidental ingestion and that type of thing, um, you know, probably not going to be lethal, but can still cause a lot of damage. So, you've right. got to be careful with this one, too. Yeah, and for, for human beings, when it's in the water systems for, right. for, uh, an, for uh, to, to winterize, you mm -hmm. know, it, it's okay if maybe a human gets a mouthful because you know that it's not something that you want to uh, keep drinking. But exactly. an animal may not make that choice. That's, that's really the big right. problem. And, exactly. of course, smaller animals have... Uh, have a, 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 a lower tolerance or they, they get a higher concentration mm -hmm. uh, quicker in right. their bodies. So exactly. um, what kind of things should we look for if we, what, what would make me suspicious if my animal or if my dog were, uh, were, were poisoned by one of these uh, chemicals? Sure. Well, they can really range quite a bit. So we could get everything from uh, irritation in the mouth or in the intestinal tract, um, which might give us like some vomiting and diarrhea, maybe don't want to eat. Um, all the way over on the other side of that freakometer where, you know, we're killing kidneys and mm -hmm. taking, uh, you know, and, and just taking a matter of hours to, to do damage permanently. So kidney, yeah, you, you don't live long without your kidneys anyway. No, no. So, uh, and, and the, the main thing is, of course, uh, th that th we, we don't want to say that these products are not proper, obviously, for their, for their intended purpose. But right. uh, you, there's always a consideration when uh, animals are involved mm -hmm. uh, because mm -hmm. they don't know how to read labels, correct? Right. Okay. <laughs> so what do, you, what do we do uh, if an animal is uh, poisoned? What, how, what's the first line of defense if you think your animal has a problem? Well, if you think that they, even if you're not sure, even if you just think, oh, gosh, he was out in the garage, um, give your veterinarian a call because, you know, like we said, for some of these, especially the ethylene glycols, only take a few hours to right. do permanent damage or to kill them. So if you have any suspect at all, go ahead and give them a call and get in and have them get checked. Um, if you are um, 
you know, if you're concerned that maybe they have gotten in there and your veterinarian isn't open or that kind of thing, you can also call the ASPCA's National Animal Poison Control Center. Um, they have a really nice website as well. So you can get a hold of them. They're 24-7. Right. So early mm -hmm. treatment is like like any problem. Earlier is better. Yeah. So when we come back, Gunner the Wonder Dog is going to join us and he's going to show us how t we can keep him and his furry buddies warm and comfy this winter. More TV like this from the world of RVs, head to RVNN.com.